Hello and welcome to Double Barrel Gaming. I'm your host, Mr. Boomstick XL, and what a story to wake up to. Pun totally intended. In a story that's being reported by GameIndustry.biz, Remedy has obtained the publishing rights to Alan Wake from Microsoft, and the Xbox diehard community is wondering what this exactly means for the future of the Xbox exclusive franchise. Now, if you're not in the know, Alan Wake was an IP that was previously owned by Microsoft and has officially reverted back to Remedy Games. This new information coincides with Remedy receiving a one-time royalty income from its previous released games for 2.5 million euros. This money will not impact the firm's financial results and will be invested in developing new games. If you're new to the Xbox platform and somehow missed the Xbox 360 exclusive, Alan Wake is considered a cult classic with Xbox diehard gamers like myself. The Xbox 360 exclusive sold over 3 million copies and, according to Microsoft, wasn't quite enough to justify a full sequel. Though it did result in two DLC add-ons and a standalone digital-only spin-off called Alan Wake's American Nightmare. In total, the franchise sold over 4.5 million copies. What has me greatly concerned is that the IP could potentially go multi-plat and like I said on Twitter, would be a huge black eye for the Xbox platform. What's worse is that in the last few weeks, Sony has been rumored to be looking for its next studio acquisition to add to their already outstanding first party lineup. Because Remedy is a master craftsman at strong single player, story driven adult themed titles, it would be in my opinion a match made in heaven for them to become a first party for Sony. Look, I love the Alan Wake character, story, and lore that the franchise brings and would gladly play it on the PlayStation 5, but I have to tell you, this would be a huge mistake on Microsoft's part, and if I was Sony watching this transpire, here's what I would do. I would buy Remedy, make them a first-party studio, and immediately sanction an Alan Wake reboot for the PlayStation 5. Have them start ASAP and have a trailer made for this year's PSX. Give Remedy a big budget and all the time in the world to make the next big Sony PlayStation 5 exclusive. Do you know what this would do to the morale of the PlayStation Nation? What's worse is it would crush the Xbox diehard fan base like me who have been asking and in some cases begging for a sequel. I'm extremely interested to hear your thoughts on Remedy getting the publishing right back for Alan Wake. Could Remedy potentially be bought by Sony and could they do a better version of Alan Wake than what was released on the Xbox 360? Please leave all opinions in the comment section below. Thanks again for tuning in to another episode of Double Barrel Gaming. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, share this on social media, and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again for listening. Have an awesome day.